Hey guys, I'm uh, just making a quick video on how to install the uh, rear mud flaps on the Hummer EV. Um, I bought the front and the rear set um, from GM and both of them only came with this one sheet of paper, pretty much saying to get the instructions online. But when you go to the website that they tell you to go to at that accessories.gmc.com, there are no instructions for these. So the fronts they kind of they go on it's pretty straightforward i've got them installed here and they pretty much just bolt on to the factory location they want you to uh, drill an extra hole at the bottom and there it comes with an extra set of screws for that so i'll probably do that but the rears um i couldn't find any instructions online or anything so um I had a quick look and then I figured out that um, where this uh, this extra little bracket that they give you goes because it's they're actually labeled on the back side <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it it says left hand rear there um, so what they want you to do is they want you to use these two screws here and mount the bracket like so so you mount it there and then these locations is where the actual mud flap bolts to um so they give you this little kit here with all the extra screws and stuff and there's also these rivets now the rivets you see there's a, a hole on the bottom here um so when you have the mud flap installed it kind of goes like so and then you go on the bottom and once it's bolted up you drill a hole and uh, you put that rivet in so let's uh go ahead and get these screws out get this bracket installed um obviously on the bracket you gotta put these um uh, put these clips on so the screws have something to go into when you bolt the mud flap on um so once we get that on then we can attach the mud flap and then we'll we'll get the hole drilled all right so got the bracket installed I've put the little clips in, so you see there, I reused the, uh, the factory bolts that were holding the splash shield on. So now we can take our, uh, take our mud flap, and then the mud flap lines up with the holes in the bracket. Sorry, I won't focus there, but there you go. Kind of lines up like that. So now we can bolt that in, and uh, it'll be attached. Okay, so now the mud flap is attached. So um, I was thinking maybe I could just leave it like this, but it, it is pretty flimsy without having that extra um, rivet in there. So I'll go ahead and um, now that it's all secure, I can use that hole as a guide and then uh, drill a hole for this rivet once I figure out what size drill bit to use for it. And then we'll get the rivet installed. All right, so um, drilled the hole. It, uh, I used a 3 16th inch drill bit and uh, that allowed the rivet to go in. Um, it's pretty snug in there. So now we can uh, use our little rivet tool and, and uh, secure the rivet in there. If you don't have one of these, you can just buy it at your local hardware store. It's like 20 bucks, so. And uh, if you don't know how to use one, you can just Google it, but it's pretty straightforward. You pretty much put it in like that. I need two hands for this. I don't have my tripod. And then you just uh, squeeze it until it's uh, until it snaps off. And there we go. Just like that, you've got the rivet in there. So now it's, uh, I guess it's as, as secure as it gets. So we've got the mud flap installed now. So now we can move on and do the passenger side. Okay, passenger side is on. That literally took me all about five minutes. No, when you know how exactly these go on, it takes no time at all to put them on. And um, now we'll go ahead and get the second hole drilled and get that second rivet in. And that's it. Both sides are installed. Obviously, these mud flaps don't cover my wheels, but these would definitely cover your stock wheels. 
my wheels um, these are minus 18 offset so they do come out a bit um, I mean they're flush with the kind of pretty flush with the top of the fender um, but they do come out a bit I might end up switching to um, a different offset wheel down the road but anyway I've got the, the mud flaps on so we'll see how much difference these make um, and so I'll, I'll show you while I'm at it I'll go ahead and uh, and drill the holes in the front ones down at the bottom because I didn't didn't do that when I installed them originally but you can see there's a little hole right there and they want you to drill a hole and uh, use a screw there also. So while I'm at it, might as well do that. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, like the videos and subscribe. There's going to be more coming. Thanks.